good day. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I was asked the other day by somebody uh, how to keep the same configuration with uh, multiple Wireshark users at work. And what they meant by that was you might uh, customize Wireshark such as colors, capture filters, display filters, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is show you uh, what I'd suggested to him, which he wasn't aware of. So here we go. We're going to show you how to uh, standardize on a capture filter for example and what you'll find uh, as we go through it it's uh, not all that much different for the other settings as well first thing is help and about and you get your good old Wireshark info there's a folders tab click and go to the global configuration line and there's the path to Wireshark if obviously if you didn't know that so I'm gonna double click on that it's gonna open up uh, Windows Explorer here and you can see it's uh, gonna show me all the files and the one that I want to play with is the uh, C filters file. So you can do this two ways. You can just uh, kind of eyeball it, sort, search. It, it doesn't matter. Sooner or later you're going to find it. So what I'm going to do is uh, use a uh, editor, which I should have had open already. I'm going to just use Komodo, but you can use um, Notepad, WordPad. It doesn't matter. And I'm just going to take C filters and drag it into here. This is the capture filters that are currently uh, read by Wireshark when it starts up. So if I went back to Wireshark here, I'm just going to close that and come back here and go to Capture and go to Capture Filters. You'll see a list of the filters that it came with. So I want to add to this and that's why I'm doing that. So I'm just going to close Wireshark for a moment. We don't need that anymore. And there's all the filters. Now here's the important part. See this last line? It's blank. It's a, just a, a blank line with a carriage return. You always need to make sure you have one extra line at the end of the config or this will not work. So press enter go back up a line double quote and what you do is you you type uh, in English what you want this filter to be so for example I'll say my uh, corp uh, filter and there you go double quote and then after that you actually put the filter syntax the capture filter syntax not a display filter a capture filter so in this case it'll be host www.thetechfirm.com and that's it it's all you do so I'm just going to save this. Done. I'm going to start up Wireshark again. Let's see if it, uh, yep, stays in the window. Nice. And now if I go to Capture and I go to Filters, pull this guy down here. If we scroll down, My Corp Filter. There you go. So it's important though in that text file we had those two, the one with the quote, one without the quote, uh, the name and the string. That's the syntax of what it's reading on there. And again, please remember, you always need that one blank line at the end. So in that folder, if you take a look here, there's also a uh, there's a C filters as well as a D filters. That's your display filters, and then your color filters. So you, you get a quick idea of what you can do with that. So now that I've customized that, I've, I've got a few options. I can email this to the people I work with. I can put it on a file server. I can store it in a different folder, uh, whatever. And that way, later on, if I ever install Wireshark on a new machine, I just put a couple of standard files on it, and I'm good to go. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.